Have you ever wondered in which countries one can live best? Or in other words, in which countries are people the happiest? To see, we should pack our suitcases and go to a distant part of the world. And as we have many rankings on the level of happiness, here on Exit 10, we will count down the top 10 most cheerful countries on Earth. Number 10, Costa Rica. The definition of happiness will certainly not be a one-size-fits-all formula. The World Happiness Report focuses on what is important for most people, their well-being, says the director of the Earth Institute of Columbia University. This is why the report takes into account factors such as real GDP, lack of corruption, generosity, life expectancy, and access to education. Costa Rica has been very high in the Happy Planet Index ranking. The inhabitants of this small country often feel that they live at a higher level than the citizens of many rich countries, such as the United States or the United Kingdom. The Costa Rican government dissolved its army in 1949 and has so far allocated funds to the development of education, health care, and the pension system. Professor Mariano Rojas, a local economist, points out that the well-being of the Costa Rican people is due to a culture that takes care of family, friends, and neighbors. It's also worth mentioning that this country is a world leader in environmental protection. In 2015, 99% of the country's energy came from renewable sources. Number 9. Israel Israel ranks high in terms of life expectancy and the number of Nobel Prize winners per capita. People in Israel lived for almost 82 years on average. In 2017, a World Happiness Report issued by the United Nations declared that Israel defeated countries such as Great Britain, Germany, and the U.S. According to the UN ranking, the key to happiness is the result of six factors. GDP, social support, life expectancy, personal freedom, level of corruption, and generosity. However, Israel is facing a strong problem in the lack of national identity. A survey by Mass Israeli showed that many people would totally leave the country if they had the opportunity to do so. The company's CEO, Yuri Cohen, commented, Many citizens don't feel attached to the country. This is an alarming statistic. Number 8. Australia Australia is a very popular tourist destination. Gold beaches, year-round relatively high temperatures, and the world's largest coral system attracts crowds of people every year. Although the UNESCO World Heritage Site of the Great Coral Reef is under threat, masses of tourists have been visiting the remote islands from year to year. Australia is ranked high in the happiness ranking for its excellent education system, efficient public administration, and increase in trade in natural resources. The University of Melbourne conducted a survey asking citizens how satisfied they were with their lives. It turned out that those Australians who live in the bush, not big cities, are happier and surrounded by family and friends. The level of satisfaction is also influenced by well-maintained spacious homes and the presence of a garden. Maybe it's time you move to the countryside. Lucky number 7. Canada Canada was ranked 5th in the World Happiness Report published in 2012, but recently it ranked 7th. Taking into account that as a country, Canada has a short tradition of just 150 years. In another ranking of best countries, where the authors took into account 75 factors, including sustainability, culture, and entrepreneurship, Canada was on the podium with a silver medal. As one professor from the University of British Columbia explains, rankings show both consistent development and change, so Canada is always at the forefront, but exact locations change every year. The factors taken into account in the reports evolve slowly. Number 6. The Netherlands The authors of the report gave high marks to the Dutch Health Service, income, freedom to make decisions in life, and trust of the government slash business. The country and its capital Amsterdam are often ranked high. Amsterdam is ranked number 11th in the world Mercer's quality of living and the Netherlands value a high level of work-life balance. According to UNICEF, Dutch children are amongst the happiest in the world. Number 5. Finland Finland has always been in the top 10 since the first publication of the World Happiness Report. It was fifth back in 2017, and it should not come as a surprise because the eighth largest country in Europe is ranked very high on many lists. 
The Bertelsmann Foundation ranking points out that Finland is a model democracy which has developed the basis of government reports and the introduction of socially friendly solutions. Well, one of the reports prepared by a British medical magazine placed Finland at number six in terms of the development of healthcare, and as many as 188 countries were included in the entire ranking. Have you already started thinking about your move to Finland? Are you ready for an ice bath? Or maybe you prefer a Finnish sauna? Number 4. Switzerland. This country is famous for its beautiful mountain views and neutrality enshrined in the constitution, and it's ranked at number 4 of the happiest countries in the world. New York journalist Gillian Richardson described her stay in Switzerland in an interesting way. She says that the stereotype of Swiss punctuality is extremely true. Public transport works very well in the country. This is a sign of a wider phenomenon. The fact is that in this country, the main access of societal concentration is on the good of the community, not of individual people. This is also reflected in the exceptionally well-developed social assistance program and public health care, considered to be upon the world's best. The happiness of the Swiss is also certainly due to the fact that from a very young age, they pay attention to a healthy diet and sporting activities, resulting in women who have the lowest BMI in all of Europe. Number 3. Iceland A country that you probably didn't think could be synonymous with happiness because of its very cold long winters full of darkness and wind. Most people imagine that this would result in 330,000 gloomy inhabitants, but it couldn't be further from the truth. Iceland's strength lies in its hot springs. Back in the 1950s and 60s, the country moved from coal to geothermal energy, harnessing the power of the volcanic activity on the island. The infrastructure created at the time allowed for the construction of an entire network of hot water public swimming pools. Today, as Vladimir Hefstein of the University of Iceland points out, it's considered a human right to have one of these swimming pools within walking distance of your home. The pools strongly integrate the small nation. Everyone from the richest businessman to ordinary factory workers visit them. Number 2. Denmark Recently, there has been a lot of talk about Hig, the Danish art of happiness. The expert and author Mika Viking says the word is not literally translated. It means coziness, intimacy, warmth, but overall, the word means more than just these three things. Journalist Kathy Strongman draws attention to the Danish sense of community, a phenomenon that has also happened in the context of Iceland, Costa Rica, and Switzerland. Strongman wrote in The Guardian magazine, if you're working on the weekends, the Danish think you're crazy. The point is that family must have time to play together, to have dinner together at the end of the day, every day. So maybe the recipe for luck is closer than we think. And number one, Norway. In the first place, we feature yet again a country from Northern Europe. Norway was promoted to the fourth place in 2016, but today they tie with four other countries for first place in the overall ranking. As the authorities of the World Happiness Report emphasize, all four top countries are very highly ranked in terms of social responsibility, freedom, honesty, effective management, health, or revenue. Norway has performed best this year despite the fall in oil prices. As the authors say, sometimes it's said that Norway maintains a high level of happiness not because of its wealth of oil, but in spite of that. That's it for today's episode of Exit 10. Leave us a comment, let us know what country you think is happiest on earth, subscribe, and we will see you next time. Oh yeah, smash that bell.